Okay, um, in this video, we are going to learn um, how to get the absorbance data plugged into a graph. Um, you notice here we have some sample data. Um, it's every second. The spectrometers take it every second, and I think that's overkill for this lab. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go every 20 seconds, and we'll all do the same thing um, on there. And so you, you notice I've uh, plugged in some data uh, from every 20 seconds. So we have 0.914 here at zero time. At 20, we have 0 0.901. And you'll see that that uh, corresponds to what I've put in here. Now, that's actually the absorbance. So I'll have one graph that is... And I go down to the bottom here and I can type in um, time versus absorbance. And so uh, I'm just going to plug in these, these five values so I can show you how to get the graph for absorbance. And what I'm going to do is highlight that portion. And we're going to go to insert up in the top here. We're going to click on scatter graph. And that brings up uh, this, which is the absorbance versus time. Um, with absorbance on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. So if you put time on the left column when you're making these, um, you'll get that on the correct axis. Um, to get this, this grid look to it that I have, I just use this button up here and um, highlight what you want to be a grid and hit all borders and you'll get this look here. So the border tab is, is very important. If you uh, Go to the design uh, tab up here on chart tools. You can change this graph so that you can actually um, get a straight line uh, on there and get some data about the graph. And so we've got our um, absorbance versus time. Well, that's great, but we want to get it converted into concentration versus time. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here, and this is the new page tab. I'm going to open up a new sheet. And I'm just going to copy this and paste it over there so I don't have to retype everything. We'll copy. We'll paste. And I just use the, the regular paste button is, is usually fine for this. Um, and then I'll change the titles here. This will be Concentration of Crystal Violet. And put that in there. Well, these values you guys know need to be converted into um, concentration using Beer's Law, which is A equals... ABC and remember the A is going to be given to you from um, the first day graph which I'm sending to you and so you'll plug that in and get your concentration values plug those into here do the same exact thing we did on this sheet make the graph um, and then you can start looking at your different plots um, if you want to change titles and things like that um, you can you can do that here it's kind of weird writing like this, but I can type. So we have absorbance there, ABS, if you want to do that, and time and seconds. And we've got that there. You can, you know, you can title the chart if you want. Absorbance versus time, or whatever you want to put. So um, we've got that. So that's that's how you do each of those. And then, you know, again, if you want to change the name on these, you can put. Um, you know, concentration of CV down here. Sorry. Concentration versus time. And then if you want to make another one, which you'll need to do, we can call that the, you know, the natural log of concentration versus time. And then you'll need to make the one over concentration and so uh, you can kind of title that however you want but that'll be one over concentration versus time so you'll end up with with four total graphs to put in there um, in that um, you really just need to print out concentration versus time, the natural log of concentration versus time, and one over concentration of time, and you get those done. Um, and again, you'll have to go through and change these values for each of those. So for uh, natural log of concentration versus time, I can copy this data from the um, concentration once that's in. Again, do another copy and paste job. 
and then change that to natural log of concentration. And you'll have to do the math on that. Take the natural log of the concentrations. Again, remember, these are absorbances. We haven't converted them to concentration yet. And you'll have to take the natural log of those, plot them, you know, highlight it, insert the graph, scatter graph, and go from there. Um, and then plug that in and you'll have that. So you can print these out. You can cut them out and put them into your lab uh, notebook. And you can put it in the, in the copy and in the master that you guys keep. So you'll have uh, your data in there. Again, you can also hand draw them if you want. I don't, I don't, I'm not particular about that. It, it's fine either way. Um, and that, so the data will be sent to you. You'll have um, that to use, and then you just basically need to put the lab together and uh, get that in.